The city currently administers the Syracuse Hancock International Airport. A proposal that is being evaluated would create a private entity to manage it. Common councilors say this move would be beneficial to the city's economy. Councilor Pat Hogan says that the change will make the airport more attractive to travelers. We're not competitive with these other airports, you know, because a lot of, because it costs more basically to fly out of Syracuse. We're hoping this is a step in the right direction where it's going to cost less at the end for people to fly out of Syracuse. Some workers oppose the measure because they say it would hurt airport employees. Their biggest concern is whether they will keep their right to earn a living wage. The city guarantees its workers this right, but they fear that a private administration will not have an obligation to provide it to them. Some cabin counselors at City Hall say that the current legislation ensures that employees will receive a living wage. However, workers are worried that it might not be explicit enough. President of the Central New York Area Labor Federation, Anne-Marie Taliercio, says that the guarantees to the workers have to be spelled out. She says that the proposed legislation lacks certain aspects that would ensure that workers and citizens benefit from the change. We're not against an authority. We're against giving, taking all the power out of the citizens, Syracuse citizens' hands when we create this authority. So if we said there has to be a living wage, there has to be project labor agreements, uh, those are the protections. Councillor Hogan has scheduled a meeting with the Aviation Committee for next Monday. Bianca Grelo, NCC News.